you guys. We're ending this year the same way we started it with a broken car and crippling mental health, but we'll get through it like we always do. Long time no see, really long time no see. I've been taking a little break just to like exist. I've just been trying to like make every moment last and not distract myself every day all day. 2020, am I right? I am going to be predicting 2021. And this idea was inspired by Cut's video, which probably many of you have seen. And I was like, hey, I'm kind of big brain. Why don't why don't I predict 2021? And then I can react to it like next year if I survive. I probably will because I'm invincible. I'm just joking. My 2021 predictions. They might seem pretty morbid because the few I have running in my head, uh, they don't seem the most optimistic. I hate to go on this rant again, but I'm gonna do it. Why the fuck do people expect each year to be different whenever they don't put in effort to change anything? Like, how do you expect global warming to be gone whenever you still don't fucking like take any initiative how do you expect racism to just disappear whenever you're not out there protesting and like signing petitions and emailing authority no year is going to be good if you haven't put in work the previous year and it's just going to keep rolling like that and it might roll on like that forever for some reason we think a new beginning is a clean slate whatever whatever Okay, let's get into the predictions. There's my little rant. First prediction. I don't think COVID's gonna go away. I think it might still be prevalent in the US until next year, like 2022. I'll just use Texas as an example because that's what I'm most familiar with. Every time there's any curve in the charts of coronavirus, they just open shit back up and they're like, okay, everything's fine. And obviously there's another spike and I think we're gonna do that sadly until next year which leads on to my second prediction i think somebody really 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 big maybe even joe biden is going to die from covid i don't know i just have a feeling that somebody in power is going like somebody we really really hoped <gasps> no 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 i don't want bernie to die i don't want bernie to die I didn't want to predict that, but I think my brain subconsciously just said that Bernie is going to die from COVID this year. Obviously, fucking, I don't want that. I, oh, hopefully it won't happen. I think that, oh fuck, what do I think? I predict that like the Black Lives Matter movement is going to skyrocket again. And maybe this is just me optimistically hoping. I really think that like, we're going to get really far with it i i don't know i think a lot of things are going to change in 2021 regarding police brutality and racism fingers fucking crossed but yeah i think the movement's gonna skyrocket again and i think a lot of people who kind of like stop talking about it are going to be like oh shit this is not gonna cut it and i hate to fucking say it but i feel like the only way to get a lot of people on board with the movement is for someone they really look up to to get hurt by it. Think of your brother or your sister or think of your fucking dad. Think of your dad getting pulled over and then getting killed for absolutely no reason other than the color of his skin. Are you kidding me? I would fucking burn everything down. <laughs> I don't think everyone kind of internalized that feeling and like really thought about what if that happened to somebody I love and then realize that that is what so many fucking people are feeling right now that has happened to people that they loved I think maybe like a famous singer or like a sports star like I think something might happen to them regarding police brutality and I think that's gonna get so many people on board one more prediction within the world Honestly, I think a good thing that's going to come out of it, gender is going to become less of a construct. I think that we're moving towards that at a rapid rate, in my personal opinion. But I mean, like, what the fuck do I know? I just feel like a lot has changed in the past five years. This again, going with the, like, 
it has to happen to you for you to make a change. I think that a lot of people's family members are gonna come out as non-binary or transgender and like that's a beautiful wonderful thing because we're all figuring ourselves out during this time. I know a lot of families aren't going to be supportive unfortunately but I think a lot of families will be. I think a lot of people are going to be using more gender neutral terms. I hope so. <laughs> Maybe, the, see this is just the optimist in me. Yeah, but I think a lot of people are going to get more familiar with the idea of gender neutrality and um, fluidity. Is that a word? Fluidity? Whatever, it sounds cool. I think 2021 is going to be like a really big year for that. So yeah, there's five world predictions I might have miscounted. Who knows? Now I'm going to move to my personal predictions. I predict I'm going to get a lot, a lot, a lot more comfortable with my body. Number one goal is to like really like whatever, whatever. I'm going to do a whole New Year's resolution video. So if you want to see that, fucking go for it. Little, little plug there. Sorry. Yeah, I think I'm going to be comfortable with my body. Finally, I think I hope I'll be able to correct people whenever they do misgender misgender oh my god i'm <laughs> whenever they do misgender me i don't correct strangers i want to be able to do that and i think i will be by next year another personal prediction this one might sound really awful i think i'm gonna lose a family member which really sucks i know but like i haven't lost a family member in so long obviously i don't want that to happen but these are just my predictions so basically this year i'm moving out with my bestest friends in the whole entire world um brayden tristan and sydney i i predict that that's gonna go really well and we're gonna have a lot of fun the last prediction i have for myself is regarding my job because currently I don't fucking have a job. I'm just doing school right now. I think I'm gonna either get a job at a coffee shop, a bookstore, or like a pet store. Those are, that's what I'm feeling in my brain. I think I will. I don't know why. Or, or like Chipotle. <laughs> I don't know. That'll be wild if next year, like, I've done all four of those. This is the end of my predictions this year. I know that next year I'll be reacting to this and like I'm so excited to see if anything was right. And I'm, I'm, am I hopeful of this year? Mm. I know that this year isn't gonna be the best year for a lot of people, but I have hope that like people are going to realize that the change is not within the calendar, it's within yourself. Hopefully I'll be, it'll be better and we'll like advance as a society and figure out a way to decrease COVID cases. But as for now, my predictions are the shit will stay the same. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye you guys, goodbye, happy new year, happy new year. <laughs>